The beauty of having a faith is that promise of God that we have the right to free will, but the challenge is sometimes our free will doesn't do anything else but hold us still. When we are acting upon our own counsel, we are acting on our human mind that doesn't know what it doesn't know. You see, we only know what we've learned. We don't know what we don't know. In other words, of things we haven't learned, we haven't experienced, and we haven't heard about. So when we access our angels with a faith fob, with the Lord's authorization and approval, we have the right to learn things that we've never known before. But it really depends on how willing you are to give up free will. You see, there's sort of this idea in the theology and Bible times that literally says, hey, if you give up your free will, God will help you. You will benefit in some way from the Lord. But it's a give and take, not at all. It's a submission to God that benefits you. I can't explain it all that well, but what I can tell you is that since I began my faith Bob practice, almost every Christian I know has tried to interfere with my pursuit of God. Can you believe that? Isn't that amazing that people want to claim that their God is higher than my God? I'm like, no, it's just all one God. It's simply a different practice of faith. In life, we have moments of time to do a lot of things. I grew my beard over the course of the year in honor of the faith I have in the Lord. It is what we used to do long ago. It is what a lot of people do who are Catholic or Jewish or pagan, they grow their beards in honor of God. But when someone cuts it off in some inappropriate sexual assault, because technically under the law, they don't always want to admit a faith crime or a hate crime on religion, that it's easier to hit them with sexual assault because beards are secondary sex characteristics that belong to the individual, not some community to brawl. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth, and I do a lot of things, and I own a lot of things that are related to my faith. The two bags that were confiscated from me at the jail that I never received return of, everything inside of it, there are all the entire contents, predominantly, were based on my faith, or part of my faith practice, part of my faith-oriented business of going out and doing presentations on having a stronger faith. And openly someone stole every bit of contents of those bags and I never got them back. After three months, who had the right to do that is the real question. I'm always asking the question, why would you do that to someone who died and made you God? In America, we have the right to pursue the Lord. We have the right to choose our religion. And we have the right to decide and determine what aspects of faith practices we are comfortable with. But there's always a liar in the faith world that thinks they have the right to conspire to harm someone and their faith practice if it doesn't match what they think is appropriate in the Lord's house. But once again, you're relying on your own confidence. You're thinking that you're higher than other people, which is an illness, and openly you don't know shit about God. In America, we have faith, and our faith is based on how our faith goes every single day. And every single day, I might have a challenge in my mind of why am I doing this. And every single day, the Lord God Most High proves to me why. That He is wiser and more knowledgeable than any human being. And that all the lessons I've gained from Him, even if they may be confusing at the time, I gain more insight after the words happen, or after the way the situation occurs. And He gives me preparation so that I'm not always perturbed. But in life, we have to speak the truth of God, that God has a right to withhold information, and God has a right to withhold relationships, and God has a right to withhold the gold or the uh, environmental opportunities for you because you have failed to submit to the Lord. And until you start learning to submit to God, you will not have the life that you wish. Some people do. Some people pursue it, and some people get there, but most people do not because they choose the wrong relationships they choose the wrong girl, they choose the wrong guy, and openly that ruins their relationships with God. In America, we have moments of time to speak about God, and yet we have people who want to harm people like me, who has a different version of the faith in the Lord. Your version may work for you. Your constant daily reading of the Bible, I mean, that's what you do, isn't it? 
or is it just you lie to yourself about your rights to interfere and impede someone else who holds a different faith practice while holy to their word and holy to their world you see you have the right to your faith practice i have the right to my faith practice but no of you none of you have the right to impede another person's faith practice 